Good day. <clears throat> I'm Reed. Thanks for joining me here at Orchestra Farm. And I had a my youngest son with an eye infection yesterday, so he and I ended up staying home for a good portion of the day and I had the joy of doing some painting for fun with him. First I did a painting myself and then he wanted to help so we did a started another canvas together. It was a joy and then later in the day he was napping and my four year old daughter came over and she's like, I don't know what to do and I was like, Well let's uh he had some scrap wood laying in the, around, little, you know, cut off ends and things. I was like, let's uh, make a fairy chair. And we'll put over by the little fairy door house thing that you have going on. And she got all excited and she's like, I'm going to do all the nailing. I was like, sounds great. I'll pre-drill it so that way it's easier to nail in. Plus, you know, the wood doesn't just shatter from it as well. And so we built a little chair and then she's like, what do we build now? She was all having so much fun. And so we built a little cajon, a wooden box drum as well. And we put all those out by this little fairy house thing that she has going on. And it's nice and do rich here at the farm today. And while all that was happening, I was holding a multitude in myself and at, at one point with my daughter we were just like copying each other and laughing hysterically and I find like there's this thing of I'm not sure if I'll call it maturity or being an adult or or what exactly but rather than just being like in that moment present with them I was also extremely distracted and by some other things going on in my life. And I found that I was still able to completely focus with them. Even while these other things are just like whirling around in the background. And it's interesting to notice how, you know, probably for most of us, you know, we don't just have a single thing happening. And I find, like, as a child, it's pretty easy to focus on a single thing. And then, you know, as we get older, we start to realize all the different pieces of life that are taking place and influencing things or affecting things, depending on reality sets. And... Oh, what? Is there an actual chestnut there? That ability to hold off the things that are... Oh, it is. Taking us kind of away from the moment. Nuts. We have to take some pictures of this for my wife. I bought these trees kind of a long time ago and I mean, they're super short because I, know, I just kept them in pots for a long time because I didn't really have a spot to plant them. And but they were from a, an anniversary gift for my wife. There's another one over here for my wife and myself, I guess. She loves chestnuts, though. They're not really my... <clears throat> it's But that ability to focus even when there's larger distractions on the horizon is what allows life to be richer from my perspective in that way of like there's always going to be distractions there's always going to be stuff coming up that needs to be dealt with and gone into but being able to remember that like sometimes the really important things are right in front of us and they deserve our attention too. And I need to get in here with the weed whacker. I'm pretty grateful that 
they seemingly have that ability, <clears throat> even if it comes across to myself like I'm having to be in a bit of a warrior state with myself to maintain that presence. And so I'm still running my painting offer. So if you're still watching this video, thank you so much. Please subscribe to this channel here on YouTube and click the like button on the video here. It super helps my channel out. And if you are still watching, I am running a painting giveaway. All you gotta do is cover the cost of shipping. I do live in Canada, so I don't know what that's gonna be for everyone everywhere, but, and if you wanna see some pictures of that, let me know. Cause I, in the videos I post here of paintings, it's usually just the first part of it cause it kinda happens quick and I think it's more interesting than the more meticulous aspects that I end up putting in on some of them. But I need to free up some wall space. Like I mentioned, doing some paintings with my son yesterday, which two of them came out pretty darn interesting. Now it's just a debate of are they finished or not, which is uh, another thing I'm trying to wrap up a book that I started compiling four years ago. And it kind of got lost in the shuffle of life and stuff and forgotten until this year. And so I'm going to see if I can get that out before my workshop on the 29th called Grounding the Creative. So if you are on Salt Spring and want to come to that, hit me up and I can get you more information. With that, I hope that you're having too much fun and enjoy life to its fullest.